the boys themselves, they are brought up knowing that they are strong and these things are not supposed to, to happen to them. The parents don't normally suspect that uh, their boys are in danger in the company of such people. Fatuma, not her real name, holds the hand of her only son closely. If it was up to her, she would have been holding it this close a year ago when a dark cloud befell her family. <laughs> Fatuma says that right that moment she felt her world crumble. In Likoni, Mombasa County, we find this mother who has recently reunited with her son. Let's call him Musa. From May 2015 to January 2016, her son had been missing. Huyu mtoto mbwa watoto kucheza. Walienda kuungilea. Unasikia? Kama vile umuona vile walukua mekapari. Walienda kuungilea. Malo walienda kuungilea ni Florida. Mkato nipunda kuungilea, yule mwalimu nduwa atu kujua kichini kilitendeka. Mimi nilingoja mtoto wa kuja nyumbani. Kisi kuona mtoto wa kikuja. Kumbu wanzake mbubada wa kadambia. Kuna watu walukua nungilea, lakini kuna mtu alitujitokiza kuli kwa ufuwa bahari. Haka anza kuafukuza. Haka shika nani? It would emerge that the man who kidnapped Musa from a local beach was a teacher at a school in Mtwapa. After kidnapping the boy, the teacher allegedly went to the Department of Children's Affairs to put a claim on him. Kumbe yule malimu, kama walukua kuna mpango fulani ulipangwa pale na ofisa wa watoto. Hakaenda kwa David huyu mtoto kule. Asa mimi nilikuwa na bado naangaika na tafuto mtu sili itampatia wapi. Bada ya pale, huyu mtu, huyu ofisa haka nipigia simu, haka niambia mama njo huku kwa ofisi yetu. Nilipo enda kule, nikapata meafidavidu huyu mtoto, umegia za form, wakaniita, walipo niita, mtoto ni kama alikuwa hakuna kitu hamesha uishu wa nacho ya kwamba asini kubali kama mini mama hake. Akubali ya kaya ni uyu mtu. Sasa kwenye hile nyumba ulikuwa pekea kwa mwa kulikuwa na watu tuwengine? Alikuwa kuna watu tuwengine alitoroka. But it is what happened to him for those nine months in captivity that Musa wishes was all a nightmare. Akwa ufiku mtila wa mkanyatani mba. It is a long, winding drive to this area in Kusumu West. We walk into this homestead where the family hides behind what they believe is a veil of shame. It all started when they invited into their home a friend, a friend who would later turn into a beast. <laughs> kijana ndogo na amesema twende kwa nyumba yake kama tunasema na hizo picha twende kwa nyumba yake alafu tukisaanza alafu 
amesema sasa tufanye video wale walikuwa kama wanafanya The culprit had been contracted to dig up two pit latrines for the family and being a family friend he would sometimes spend the night with the boys in their shelter The three brothers all sleep in this room and on this tiny bed when the family friend sleeps over he joins them right here Ah bimba tu nilikuwa na huko na brother yangu ilikuwa na lala hapa na yeye na lala huko the man defiled all the three brothers as well as their friend from a neighboring homestead. The friend's father was made aware of this case by a school teacher. And we learned that uh, those concerned children, there was one of them who was fished outside from the house of the, of the, the, the uh, that guy who was sodomizing them. So when we called that boy, he, to he was free, he talked to us, he opened up, and he told us what was happening. So after telling us, the, uh, he mentioned some names, so we went and got one children, uh, one child out of those uh, children. Then after that, we had to talk to that child. And he also opened up and we decided to invite the parent. The parent was cooperative, we talked to him and we advised him on what to do. So we advised him to take the child uh, to, uh, to take the child to the hospital. Kabla si gapereka yosi itali ni sungumu sana ye. Ali niambia baba. Wakati tulikuwa kwa matanga juu, huyo alikuja. Ali sungumu sana sisi, aliambia sisi, tuende kwao, ili turudi usiku tupumzike hapa kwa matanga tukienda huko au alitolea sisi picha ya watu wanafanya mambo mabaya mabaya For many of the sodomy cases on young boys that we interrogated the perpetrators have been people known to the boys from relatives teachers neighbors and caregivers like the three boys sodomized by a family friend and Fatuma's son who was lured by her husband's relative. Sasa kasema nilikuwa na cheza ndio huyo kijana akaja akanipata shilingi 20 akaniambia enda ukanunulie sabuni ya Ariel unilete kule nyumbani. Sasa mtu alipo 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 pale shilingi 20 akakimbia paka dukani akaenda kanunua ile Ariel the reason why it is most of the time is the people who are close to them because these people already have learned the trend. They know the parent is not there at this point. They know the level, actually they know that this parent can take an action to this level and they also know the weaknesses of these children because already at that time they've tried enticing these children, they've tried talking to them and they know at this level now I'm able to, to do this to this child. Rafael Aoko is the program unit manager for Plan International in Kisumu. The organization has been running child protection campaigns in the country. Aoko says that parents need to be more careful on whom they entrust their children to. The parents don't normally suspect that uh, their boys are in danger in the company of such people. And this is why I'm now, we are now calling upon the, the, the parents to, to be on the watch out. The, people that are in the company of their boys because they are people who are very friendly they are people who would always uh, we expect to be role models but they are the people who take advantage of the boys due to their ignorance and then you take and you influence over them and abuse them Parents whose sons have been defiled in such a brutal manner, the devastation is bare. Haka chilea mtoto wangu, haka nikataza mtoto, haka enda na uyu manimu, kumbu ule mtoto alikuwa shafa nyo ile kitengo. Sasa ni kitu walikuwa nafinika, 
ili nisijue ule mtu nikimchukua itajua ukweli wa maneno sasa hiyo kitu ilikuwa namna hiyo mtu wangu akaenda ndiye kwenda huyo mwalimu kaenda kuishi na yeye kuishi na yeye kumbe alikuwa ni mke wake anamlaita kila siku but for yet others the reaction was extreme the father of the three boys for example wanted to hit his youngest son with a panga when he learned that he had been sodomized manya fila nemo na kwa mungika goja la kiel matek hiyo mtoto yake ndiye alipiga na hiyo panga yake ambayo alikuwa nayo kwa mkono akaenda kuna mule na huyo kijana hapo binoku huyo nyaka uoko na hapo huyo kijana hapo ngea kitoto mpaka mzee akatoka mtoto amekuja akaenda si aje na huyo posikia mbaki anakuja pia kanza ile ule uoga basi mwambie aje nikamwita nikuja kwa nikisha sasa saka kati nguvu ni kwangu ah sema wewe sema ilikuwaje sasa mtoto mwenye anatetemeka babake alirusha teke lakini uzuri niko ni mwanalili teke kwa nikalishika nikashikoli mguu nikamwambia hapana hiyo sio njia mtoto hata sema usimlinie mtoto si kupenda kwake amependa mwenyewe Most of the time the parents are not always ready to hear because they they will take the child as the person who is on the wrong. Fatuma could sense that something was horribly wrong with her son, but she just couldn't get him to talk to her. Nikapatia njia tatu, nikafanya vidole hivi. Nikaona mbona ni vidole vitatu hivi? Nikamwambia eh nikamwambia basi acha nikwambie kuna njia tatu ambayo wewe kama umeharibiwa na kukusema utapata hizi njia tatu. Nikamwambia baba unajua kitu cha kwanza utapata ukimwi. Nikamwambia kitu cha pili utafanya utakuwa shoga. Cha pili utakuwa shoga. Na hapo hapa kwa huyu shoga nikamwambia atakuharibu kwanza hutapata mbegu ya kuzaa. Nikamwambia na mwisho baba una The children are feeling like most parents will they actually they say the parents will chase them away and uh, they don't have confidence in the teachers because they feel, they feel teachers are going to say that on the assembly the teachers will tell other teachers but sometimes it goes beyond fear of the children opening up to their parents to threats issued by the perpetrators nipokwenda piga nduru akachukua kitambara akantia kwa mdomo sasa kafanya tabia mbaya alipomaliza akanyambia ukisema nitakupiga alafu nitakuua kaenda kwa hospitali nikapata hii PRC daktari kumwangalia akasema huyu mtoto ameumizwa sana hata mtoto atakuwa fanyia upasuaji psychologically um It's something that they will never forget. But it's something then we try and see whether they can go back to normalcy or be able to cope with it. Um, one thing I didn't mention is that at times you had survivors really who die. Um, others I mentioned earlier maybe the late presentations um, they would end up HIV positive. So then some of them would have diseases that they have to live with. At a primary school in Kilifi County, we meet an encouraging case of a boy who successfully fought the enticement of a man in the community known to specifically lure young boys into having sex. Kila kinifuata mimi nakataa na mwingine na yule mzangu akaenda akamdanganya na keki mwingine, bila na wengine huko. Kenda kwa danganya na keki wakaenda wakafanya na yeye hicho kitu. Nawapatia juice na mapera. Then anawapeleka in a garden ambapo iko closed watu waweze kuona. Residents say attempts to have legal action against the perpetrator have come to naught. Sikuu kusema lakini chief naambiwa lakini yeye kwa vile yeye anamtumikia nini wa ishapo kwa hiyo chief. Sasa vile anavotumikia nini? So the chief alivomboa yakao yakata. Yakata au mambo. Asema afanye. The 
investigating cases of child sexual abuse has been an especially difficult and disheartening process for many of the victims' parents, especially those from poor backgrounds. Whereas the Sexual Offences Act is in place stipulating varying degrees of penalties for offenders, corruption within administrative and judicial systems has seen justice delayed or blatantly denied for many victims. Hata polisi ya masendo wali nsumbua na tiyo kitu imesaha, hiyo kitu ni ya niopita. Ama unataka kutukua pesa kwa mtu mingine, mina pana sa pana. Mimi ni na yangu kidogo ambayo mungu wa menipatia na kula kidogo kidogo. Lakini kitu ya mtu sitaki, nataka kitu ya sheria, diyo imenileta hapa. Kama munaweza kumusaidia, naomba usaidisi hapa kwenyu. Nilipiga ripoti, badae usiye salikata kulipea P3-4. But uh, collusion with the other, say like administrators, no, that one I'm not very clear about. But what I know, our people always are always very reluctant in cases that are within the villages because they see themselves as one family. So when something happens, they take it too low that now we are taking so and so to court. So they relax and they have that case, not having good evidence that can have one imprisoned. But other than that, there are a number of other emerging challenges in the prosecution of such cases. Manake, kama nule ushaidu wa chembe chembe, uko kwa ule mtu mzima ando wa mefanyo, ambo ndo uwa kawaida tunasema, yeye ndo awe ni mlelamishi. Lakini mlelamishi nule elefanya, na si mwanamume kwa mwanamume hata kwa mwanamke manake pia tunapata kesi nyingine wanawake wengine wanatumia watoto kwa fa sasa wakati unaanza kesi utazipataje zile yale nino tunaita evidence most parents do not most children do not have birth certificates when you have a case you've taken to the uh, to the court there must be a verification of age so when the children do not have birth certificates at one point the case is slow we know that our court processes are equally very slow. Again, we have the um, witness protection is still weak. We know there is an, a witness protection act, but it is still weak. People fear retaliation, so most people don't want to report. And again, the compromising between the parents. A case is there, and the parent and the perpetrator, they come together, they talk, and then the case just goes like that. The sun is about to set in the Lakeside region of Kisumu County and with the setting of the sun rises an increasing fear of the rising cases of child defilement in various parts of the region. The boy child who for a long time was not part of the conversation is now roped in. Sodomy is now talked about in harsh tones in various parts of the region. It is not something that many parents or many people think happens in this area because they normally think that um, uh, homosexuality, so to speak, is an, at, at, happens in uh, certain areas like in major towns or in, uh, in areas where there are uh, a lot of urbanization. But it is actually real in the rural setting as well. Mtu wa kiume ametengwa, amezaulika na watu wawafoka sana na mtu wa kiume. Ukisikia tu kuna girl child, kuna mimi. People are brought up knowing boys are very strong. They are not supposed to complain. So most of the issues affecting boys are never reported. The boys themselves, they are brought up knowing that they are strong and these things are not supposed to, to happen to them. Between April and March 2016, 35 boys were admitted at the Nairobi Women's Gender-Based Recovery Center for treatment following sexual abuse. In the same period, 119 boys were treated at the outpatient clinic. Therefore, in a span of just one year, a total of 154 boys under the age of 18 years were treated for sexual assault at this one facility. Note that these are cases reported to the Nairobi Women's Gender-Based Recovery Center alone. How many more have been reported to other medical centers? And as the sun sets, another child Another boy is at the risk of falling prey to a vicious sexual predator. Where does the battle to stop this begin?
na ingekuwa ni uwezekano hata wangekuwa watu wa kiwahana wangekuwa na uwao kwa sababu ni mnyama na amemwaribia maisha yake this is a fight that involves all round people you know it involves the religious leaders it involves the leaders themselves it in, involves the communities so it's it's a fight that we need to hold hands and do it together Sharon Momani KTN News